Welcome to Superior Profit Morning Market Meeting, Thursday, 7th March 2019. I'm Sagan Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. I will rather use the time to discuss about the market. If you want to know more about me, the company, etc., you may visit the website superiorprofit.co. Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. This session is meant for a demonstration of top-down, bottom-up, and insight-based identification of trade opportunities using queue systems on the live market. It is different from the weekly market roundup video that we share every week, which primarily focuses on top-down analysis. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. Today we are going to look at the global markets through their indices. We'll follow up on some of the energy stocks that I discussed in the last morning market meeting. Then we'll follow up on KHC. Kraft Heinz Company, another stock that I discussed in the last market meeting. I will explain an easy way, single step way to change the symbol lists for all the Q elite scans, scans in one step. We'll try to find some trading ideas using accelerating, decelerating industries. This is one topic that I mentioned in my last market roundup because the market is weak instead of looking at accelerating industries we may look at decelerating industries and look for shorting opportunities we'll walk through the new smart filters in qh stock tab in the last market roundup we went through the smart filters in industry tab and other tabs today we look at the smart filters in the stock tab and if we have time we'll go through some of the latest trade ideas shared in our traders forum that is open to the public. Let's begin with the global markets. We are looking at AXJO, the Australian index. Since it displayed the bullish headwind signal, it is steadily going up. The weekly backdrop candle color never turned even yellow. Therefore, if you took a long position in time, probably on this candle, that was the first go with flow trend following long trade setup after this downtrend. And you could take it more confidently because by that time you already had the bullish headwind signal in the weekly chart. Then you are having a very profitable trade by now. Right now, the index is overbought in daily as well as weekly. We focus on managing risk first and profit next. Therefore, we are not going to take any long trade right now. We are happy to continue to hold the long position that we entered on this candle. This is how we can take trades well ahead of others probably and continue to let profit run. AXJO, Australian index, is looking very strong. What about the other markets, other global markets? Let's look at China. After the bull release signal at the bottom in the weekly chart, which created a false downside breakout, 
CSI 300 is also steadily going up. The weekly candle color has not changed to even yellow, similar to AXJO. So if you took a long position, you are still holding it. Right now it is overbought. So there is no low risk entry opportunity in CSI 300 now. Hong Kong market, Hang Seng Index. This is looking slightly weaker than the China index because though it is steadily going up, earlier one week had a bearish shape and the color changed to neutral. This week, the week is not complete yet, but today is Thursday. It is looking weak again with a bearish shape candle as well as neutral color candle in the weekly chart. In the daily chart, it broke below the memory trend line support. These memory trend lines are very smart, automatically drawn trend lines that can come from few days back to few years back, like this line, like this line. They are coming from far, far away, and we don't have to try to draw them manually. They provide robust support, but when they are broken, they also signify that the bulls are not that strong. HSA is still in an uptrend, it is not that a memory support is broken means it is immediately going to fall down. But at minimum, if we took a long position earlier, maybe on this bullish shape candle in the weekly chart, then it is time to put a trailing stop using Q protection signal, which could be somewhere here. And fast traders might also take a short trade using the bear release signal. Today's candle, this is Thursday's candle. Hong Kong market is already closed. What we see here, there was a bearish headwind signal that created a watermark resistance. Price tried to go above it, but failed, created a false upside breakout. The daily candle turned red that is the traffic light candle color turned red, that is bearish, and it also broke below the memory support. Looking at that, some fast trader could short it right near the open today. Didn't have to wait till the closing, put stop for intraday basis just above day's high. And then probably book partial profit by the end of the day. If partial position is still held, then the stop will now be moved to daily chart, recent high somewhere here. And we could try to book more profit when the risk distance is covered. The actual entry would be actually somewhere in the middle of the candle using today's intraday chart. It is bullish, but if you are holding long position, you may book some profit and protect profit on the remaining position. India market. It was moving in a sideways range for several months. Tried to break out of the range on this weekly candle but fell down. This week it seems it is trying to break out again. In the last market roundup, I mentioned that when an instrument is moving in a range like NSEI, Nifty 50 India Index, the right trade setup to use is the box sideways market trade setup. Using that setup, you could take a long at the bull release signal here, long at the bull release signal here, short at the bear release signal here, and probably short also at this bear release signal here. All of those trades gave us profitable swing trades. You could take the shorts and longs using Nifty 50 or you could drill down to underlying stocks or stocks in general in the India market. They will tend to follow the Nifty index. Look for strong stocks at this point, take long position, look for short stock, look for weak stocks at this point and take short in them. 
those would be very profitable. The last bullish trade using the bull release signal in a sideways market on this day is already having give large profit. It is at the other extreme of the range, so certainly we would book at least partial profit. This is a very good example of a number of trades taken in a range bound market using box trade setup. FTSE market, UK, FTSC, FTSE index. Daily, uh, sorry, not daily, weekly is in an uptrend. There was a bear release signal three weeks ago. Now the weekly candle color is neutral, though the shape is mixed. There is a long upper tail, not very long, but long upper tail, whereas the body is hollow, so the shape is mixed. In the daily, after the bearish headwind, it fell down enough, enough to give a profitable swing short trend. Came very near to the yellow direction line and then went up. There is no trade set up right now. I will look at the USA market later. Let's move on to the other topics. Follow up on the energy stocks discussed in the last market meet. I had discussed HLX and PES. Let's see how they turned out. Give me one minute, I will open QLIT. It is opening QLIT, but I can continue with Q Global on Meta Stock. Let's look at HLX. In the last market roundup, I had explained that on this day, we had a trend following long trade setup in HLX. I think I discussed the stock somewhere here when I mentioned that it was a trade in progress, it didn't hit the profit target, which would be the upper boundary level and didn't hit the stop, which would be just below recent low. And after a few days, it indeed hit the upper boundary level and the profit would be booked we could take this trade when energy sector was strong. This stock was fundamentally strong and it did give a trend following long trade setup, go it for a long trade setup. And we exited the trade with discipline at upper boundary. That was the target for the swing long trade. And afterwards it is falling down, that that's, doesn't affect us. We already closed the trade with profit. Now, if we have to take a new trade, in HLX, we have to do a 360 degrees analysis again, check if the fundamentals are still strong, the industry is still strong, and if the chart is giving a low risk entry setup. We'll probably not find a 360 degrees trade right now in HLX. I think the energy sector is weak now. We will have a look at that. Technically also, the chart is not giving any trade setup now. The last trade closed with profit. The other energy stock I discussed was PES, Pioneer Energy. When I discussed it in the last market roundup, 
I went through the industry strength, fundamental strength and technical strength and I showed that the industry was not really strong and fundamentals were also not strong. Therefore, using 360 degrees technique, I concluded that we were not going to take a long train. That was very good decision. We discussed the stock in this week. Though technically it was looking strong, we didn't have a strong didn't have a strong industry and the fundamentals were not strong and since then price is coming down. This is another example where 360 degrees analysis was proven to be again superior than just technical analysis where we take a trade only fundamentally the stock is strong industry is strong and technically also the stock is strong. Next topic Let's review how Kraft Heinz company KHC did. This was also a stock that we discussed in the last market roundup. We can use trade station. In the last market roundup, I mentioned that some people may look at the huge drop here and think of buying KHC, thinking it is a value stock. I analyzed it using Q Vital and saw it was not really a value stock in terms of fundamentals, which again shows that a deep price drop doesn't necessarily mean that the stock is a value stock. We have to rely on fundamental score which is available in Vital. I also mentioned that technically there was no support neither in weekly nor in daily and my conclusion was though there was a huge drop on that Friday it dropped by 27 percent though there was a huge drop because of not optimal valuation yet and because of no support on charts at that time, we were not going to try to take a long position. That was effective analysis again, because from there price dropped further. It seems to be stabilizing in the daily chart, but Q traders look for proper trade setup. They don't just look at a chart and try to guess, is it going to go up? They look for trade setups that are established after a lot of research. We have the four trade setups and none of them are applicable now. And if we look at the fundamentals, it is not strong. Let's have a look at that. When a stock keeps on going down at some point, we expect the stock to be fundamentally a value stock. KHC dropped more since I discussed it last. I discussed it in this very large weekly candle. Let's see if it is a value stock now. In K in Q vital, we can type the symbol. And it will do a fundamental and peer analysis. Okay, it may be khc.o. Yes, it has received, retrieved some basic detail about the stock, retrieved its peers and now in the third step calculated the fundamental statistics. Immediately from the color coding, we can see valuation score color is yellow. So it is not a value stock yet. It pays a decent dividend. However, if we look through the peers and this is very important step in trading, trading that makes sense that before taking a trade, we do a peer analysis to see is there another stock that is better. Sometimes we may start with KHC, but end up with another stock. I can see there are several stocks which are value stocks. Let me look at only the value stocks in this industry packaged 
foods and meats these are the value stocks then let me look for stocks that are having increasing quarterly earnings growth i get these stocks if i don't want that filter increasing earnings growth okay let me apply that filter cag looks better than craft heinz company in many ways it has very nice valuation and secondary valuation earnings growth is there in the latest quarter as well as latest year year to year earnings growth is also increasing has a decent dividend also so we could look at cag if we were at all trying to buy a stock in this industry let's look at that stock cag this is certainly looking better on q charts than craft heinz company it doesn't have any trade setup not yet the weekly candle colors are cyan daily went up created a higher high it pulled back came to the memory support that is a good thing now if it hits the memory support and goes up gives us a cyan color candle and if the weekly remains cyan then we will have a trend following long trade setup on q charts before taking such a trade we would like to look at the industry packaged foods and meats let's check it out it's in consumer staples consumer staples as a sector is accelerating we can see that from the pace column however trading decisions are best made based on industry rotation we drill down to consumer staples industries packaged foods and meats it's also accelerating and it was weak earlier but over last five days and this is not last week this is last five days so we can track the performance of sectors every day over last five days it is improving with acceleration so the industry is telling us that it is okay to buy a stock fundamentals are telling that cag has in fact csg cag has the best fundamental of all the stocks in the industry in terms of valuation earnings growth as well as dividend if we combine all of them together technically it may give a long trade setup soon you may wait for that this is how we anticipate trading opportunities and add it to our watch list now will we take a trade like that we'll take a trade we'll be happier to take such a trade if the market is also going up when the market is going down it is much easier to take short trades and make profit from them which is the case now therefore though we are analyzing the stock and keeping an eye on cag we will not enter the trade probably until we see that market overall is trying to go up in any case this was a way where we started with a stock khc we identified it because of its huge drop we saw there was no trade setups in terms of fundamentals or technicals then we did a peer analysis and found a much stronger fundamental stock cag we saw the industry is stronger relative to others and we saw it may give a technical trade in coming days this is a lateral analysis it's a mixture of top down bottom up but anyway we are going to combine the strengths of industry fundamental and technical before taking a trade the 360 degree technique it was indeed the right decision not to take a long in khc before going to the other steps let's first have a look at the smart filters in qh stock tab i can click the download from memory or cache to refresh the stock tab the smart filters are at the top they are in q vital as well as q edge 
let's go to q8 refresh everything let me go through all the buttons the first one is download from cloud and cache q edge and both both key wage and key vital calculates everything continuously in real time when streaming is on it is connected to thomson reuters so it gets all the data constantly calculates everything keeps it in cache the moment we click this button it refreshes our view from cache we don't want to update the view continuously because we may be in the middle of an analysis just like we were analyzing khc a while ago we don't want to disturb that analysis by constantly updating we'll never be able to end any analysis meaningfully that's why we created the product such a way everything is updated in cache in real time and the moment we click this download button it refreshes our view the second button is for peer analysis i can put my cursor anywhere on a row for example anywhere on let's see what is looking interesting let's try to find a stock that went up last week strongly jc penny went up by 33 percent it is a value stock but earnings is poor it is in department stores industry if i click the peer analysis button it will find all the stocks in the same industry and we can look at the peer stocks we can see jc penny macy's calls I think JW and Nordstrom, they are all value stocks. If we look at the earnings growth also in the latest quarter, then overall KSS is stronger. If we combine valuation, you can combine secondary valuation also. For swing trading, valuation column is enough. If you are taking a longer term investment, you may also look in secondary valuation to be of cyan color. Another use of secondary valuation is when two stocks are very similar in terms of valuation. Then you look at secondary valuation if you want to take only one of the two stocks. In this case, going by that approach, you will choose KSS over JCPenney. The valuation scores are same, both are cyan, but KSS has better secondary valuation and we can see its earnings is also better last quarterly as well as last yearly earnings in terms of dividend also kss is better than jcpenny we started with this stock jcpenny which went up a lot but we found fundamentally kss is stronger that is the analysis you can do starting with a stock you might have looked up that stock from bottom up analysis using Q scans, or you might have read up that stock in a newspaper, or it is part of a list you are subscribing, like IBD 50. You can analyze the peers of the stock in this manner. It will also show you the industry when you do the peer analysis and department stores. Instantly, you can see it is stronger. Our systems are very visual. You don't have to think. I tend to say if you are thinking, then probably there is no trade. You just have a look at it. You know department store is very strong. No second thought about it. And KSS is stronger than others. No second thought about it. Last step would be to look at its technical charts. We can always look that up, KSS. The chart is looking okay. The weekly is bullish. Daily broke out of the range, then pulled back after earnings. Now if it goes up, gives us a sand color candle that will give a trend following long trade setup. Actually the first trend following long trade setup after it, it breaks out of this range. Again, we will like to take a long trade only if the market is strong. Last couple of days, market is looking weak. No point trying to fight the market and take long trades. We may keep these stocks in our watch list and try to enter along when the market is turning around again, going up again. Back to QH for the other 
icons the chart icon will open a chart if we are using q global on metastock i can close the existing charts on metastock now if i want to analyze any stock of my interest aww in fact looks good fundamentally great valuation very nice earnings growth over yearly as well as quarterly periods so if i wanted to look at the chart i can simply click the chart button they are integrated very well integrated and instantly we see there is no trade setup some traders trade based on only fundamentals and this example clearly shows that that is not the best approach we can make money finally only if a stock goes up if we are buying the stock just looking at fundamentals is not enough because fundamentals are giving us quarterly results sometimes annual results if there is no quarterly results in some countries in some stocks there are no quarterly results so it is like looking at a rear view mirror very useful just like driving in a car rear view mirror is very useful but we also have to see how the road is and that is shown by the technicals it is a good fundamental stock but we will not buy it when the stock is dropping that is we are not going to catch a falling knife that was the use of the chart icon and if it is q elite that is running on trade station then if i click the chart icon it will copy the symbol into clipboard that i can paste on the chart or better use is to paste in the radar q sonar dashboard and look at the stock there then we have all the smart filters these were added in the latest release the fully charged battery icon will give me all the stocks that are value stocks if i click the exhausting battery it will give me all the overvalued stocks so if we are looking for buying opportunities value buys we'll click the fully charged battery and then look for buying opportunities from that list if we are looking for shorting opportunities it is best to look for them in overvalued stocks and then look for short setup on technical charts thereby you are combining fundamental weakness with technical weakness a far superior approach than just looking at technical charts this return to normal or reverse cancel button will cancel the filter on valuation this money icon is going to filter for high growth stocks and you can see it is doing multiple passes all these stocks have steady and great earnings growth year after year for 3 years so if you are a high growth stock trader you simply click this growth money growth i guess money growth icon and you get a list of the stocks and then you can analyze the stocks further using q sonar this button will again reset the growth filter then we have a series of smart filters the first series is for yearly earnings growth the second series the same exact icons are there for the quarterly earnings growth thumbs up is increasing yearly earnings growth thumbs down is decreasing yearly earnings growth here for the first series and the second series the same thumbs up will be increasing quarterly earnings growth thumbs down will be decreasing quarterly earnings growth so the first series is for yearly earnings and second series is for quarterly earnings this reversal up arrow will show us stocks where earnings growth changed from negative to positive reversal down it it will show us stocks where earnings growth is changing from positive to negative sharp reversal same for quarterly icons let's play around with them let's look for increasing yearly earnings growth now we can see the first stock aal it has negative earnings growth in last year but it is improving from previous year sometimes stocks move start stocks start to move sometimes even before the earnings growth is positive 
because they are still improving and with the expectation the company will continue to do high do better and better stock price starts to move so this filter is pretty useful if you want only the ones which are positive you can simply double click on the header it will sort by the column and now you can see all these stocks are having fantastic earnings growth in the last year a lot of stocks which are having more than 100 percent earnings growth if you are a high growth stock trader you have a large list instantly in your hand they are having great earnings growth in the last year plus they all are improving from previous year now if i reset and let me use the reversal the yearly earnings growth change from negative to positive we have all these stocks where previous year or rather eps growth over two year compound aggregate earnings growth is negative but last year's earnings growth is positive and very strong we have a large list again these are not consistently high growth stocks now because earlier they were negative but they are improving very fast let's do similar filtering for the quarterly periods for swing trading usually the quarterly filters are enough may not need to look at the yearly filters but we also use the yearly filters in other countries because non-usa countries don't always have quarterly earnings we have to rely on yearly earnings that's why we added the yearly earnings filters as well let's look at the quarterly earnings let's look at stocks with reversing earnings growth from negative to positive there are many stocks we can double click again on the column header to get the strongest quarterly earnings growth so many stocks 22 stocks are having more than 100 percent earnings growth in the latest quarter and they had a sharp reversal from negative to positive this may be going up we will not buy them just looking at the earnings growth we have to look at the technical charts but this is a very easy way to find stocks that are showing great strength in terms of earnings growth now the market is weak so let's do something let's look for overvalued stocks i click the exhausting battery icon we get all these overvalued stocks now and now let me look for quarterly earnings growth going down so i'm clicking the thumbs down button in the quarterly earnings series these are all the quarterly earnings going down let me also look for yearly earnings going down i'm pressing the thumbs down in the yearly earnings series now let me sort by the latest quarterly earnings growth get the worst earnings growth at the top if we look at all these stocks 22 stocks we have now that has more than negative 50 percent earnings deterioration in the latest quarter they are also having deteriorating early earnings growth they are overvalued so we will be happy to look for short opportunities there we can highlight the stocks we can highlight here or here doesn't matter if we are using the quarterly earnings growth as our selection criteria it's better to easier to select through that column simply click the icon chart icon it will get me all the symbols for trade station radar i can paste there using control v then i can look for shorting opportunities if any of the stocks are giving trade setup right now the bounce box headwind or go with flow or breakout columns will light up you will have the industries also at the right remember all these stocks are overvalued stocks fundamentally they are having very high negative earnings growth earning deterioration and that is the last quarter and last year earning growth is also slowing down and we see there are several possible short setups we have to confirm them using the charts i see pdfs semiconductors industry is giving a possible go with flow short trade setup trend following short trade setup it is also a breakout candidate the breakout column is red 
and it went down with heavy pressure yesterday. So let's look at this chart, PDFS. The symbols are linked. So if I click on the symbol, it will come to the chart and it is looking weak. Instantly looking at the chart, we know that it is looking weak. Is there a short trade setup? No, if we apply the Q trade setup, there is no trade setup right now. There is a memory support nearby. At minimum, if we are holding a long position, which we could have entered on this candle or this candle using trend following long trade setup, we would have booked partial profit along the way. If we are holding the remaining position, it is time to either close the trade or apply trailing stop or you may hedge the position. There are many trading actions you can take. Clearly this stock is not looking strong. Fundamentally it is overvalued, earnings growth weak, negative actually and technically not looking good. That is how you can easily combine fundamental technical together. Last step would be to look at the industry strength. Why don't we look at that? The stock was in PDFS, right? you can do a peer analysis of that, pdfs.o, semiconductor equipment industry, I can go to QA, it is in technology sector, I can start from technology sector itself, infotech, drill down using the check mark button, semiconductor equipment it is deteriorating. Not magenta yet, neither in deceleration nor in terms of strength, not magenta yet. But if I open the latest periods, I can see the weakness is increasing. So again, there is not a short trade setup in PDFS, but industry is also weakening. Fundamentally, it is weak. Technically, it is showing weakness. Time to book profit or at least apply trading stop. The last smart filter is on earnings date. I can refresh the data again. Sometimes it is a good idea to take a trade maybe two weeks before earnings. Not too long ago, but the movement sometimes tend to happen before earnings, sometime before earnings. Just prior to earnings, it is very difficult to trade. If you are trying to trade with stocks, it is like a gambling unless you are trying to take a very long term view. For short term swing trading, just before earning, taking a stock long or short position is not a good idea. The reward risk ratio is not good. You could trade with options, but just before earnings, one day before, two days before, the options will be very expensive. Difficult to make money using options. Even if the stock moves in your favor, a better approach is to find the stocks which has earnings in say the next two weeks and then look for a trade setup and try to close the trade fully before earnings or at least partially book enough profit so that the entire trade is risk free. That can be done by clicking the calendar button. It will show all the upcoming earnings within about next two weeks. Now if the market is bearish, which we know it is bearish, we can apply further filter in valuation, we get the overvalued stocks. We could look for a short setup in these stocks. They are overvalued. If you want more stringent criteria, you could look for decelerating last quarter earnings growth. We have this few, only four. Starting with about 1500 stocks, we ended with only four. Their earnings is coming soon 7th march is today let's ignore that let's look at these three stocks clicking the chart icon we'll copy the symbols going to radar again drop the stocks there pressing control v there is no trade setup right now on any of them we can look at the stocks O R N
it is already down a lot we are not going to short it now pgnx going down there was a short trade setup one day ago on this magenta candle you can see the weekly was magenta throughout so when we had a lower low and a magenta color candle lower low lower high lower high lower low the stock was in a downtrend weekly was magenta all throughout we had a magenta color candle that was the signal day for a trend following short trade setup Our profit target would be lower boundary it may hit today you could book some profit yesterday also this is again an example how we came to this stock we were looking for stocks where earning earnings is coming soon we found them from q edge stock scorecard then looking at the market's weakness we looked for overvalued stocks with decreasing earnings growth because everything is weak we were looking for only short setups and we found a short setup in pgnx yesterday actually two days ago not yesterday two days ago we could already book some profit now in this case our aim is to wait for the earning state and just before earning state exit remaining position partial position we will close with profit once initial profit target is hit we'll continue to hold remaining position as everything is looking weak and just before earnings we may close the entire position if we traded using stock and buy a option at that time with part of the profit that is one very effective technique where you are combining everything trading strategy choosing the instrument properly combining fundamental technical industry analysis now with the smart filters you can have very effective earnings play as well those were the smart filters in the stock tab i already discussed the smart filters in the other tabs especially the industry and sector tab in the last market roundup next topic how to change the symbol lists for all the q elite scans in one easy step in q elite we have a large number of scans and we have them in q global also we have a large number of scans the q scans in q elite to change the symbols we can do it in multiple ways one is to double click on any scan go to symbol universe by default all the scans q scans run on q scan symbol list this is a single symbol list we have created so if you want to change the symbol list for all the scans in one go you simply have to change the symbols in this list you don't have to go to each scan one by one but if you wanted to go to all scans one by one you could do that you could delete this one click the drop down the custom symbol lists will give us the queue lists that we have provided we don't choose from that if you want another symbol list you could go to trade station symbol list maybe you want to go for index components you can go to snp components from here you can choose snp 500 now if you click ok it will save this as your symbol list for this scan now you have to do it for all the other scans that is not efficient in q systems we are always looking for efficiency so i'm going to cancel it i am going to double click again that is why we created a symbol list called q scan symbol list all we have to do now is change that symbol list there are multiple ways of doing that the easiest way is to create the symbol lists you want on the file system and then just copy it to this name to what name q scan symbol list dollar q scan symbol list let me go to my folder
for trade station QLE trans on trade station there is a folder under documents folder and this technique will work on trade station 10 trade station 9.5 used to be different if i remember correctly in trade station 10 it is much easier to handle different aspects of the trade station system so under trade station 10 under documents folder in your computer you have a custom symbol lists folder if you double click you see all the custom symbol list what i have done i have the q scan symbol list then i have all the other symbol lists that i tend to use from time to time the list of stocks that are having liquid option the list of stocks that are in our stock scorecard in qh dow jones industrial average components high liquidity stocks you could add more lists like s p 500 components if you are using ibd stocks you could create a list of ibd 50 or other lists now what you are going to do you are going to copy the q scan symbol list and we can mark it as backup so we don't want to touch that now i'm actually that that could be an easier way okay let let me do it in i'm going to yeah i have to copy it as a backup i don't have to copy it i have to rename it as a backup and now suppose i want to run my scans on the list of stocks that have liquid options so i'm going to copy that list and rename it as q scan symbol list you can simply copy oops i double click i am going to simply rename the liquid options stock list i am going to copy it and rename it as q scan symbol list because now all the scans are running on q scan symbol list with this single step i am able to change the scan list for all the scans many many scans in a single step again you could do that one by one by choosing the symbol list from here but you will have to do it many times to change the list for all the symbols now on the list of stocks with liquid option let's look for stocks with a let's look for a short breakout because the market is weak and you will see now it is running on the 275 stocks that are having liquid options it is not running on our default SKU scan symbol list i think that was delivered as s p 500 stocks something like that i'm not sure but in this is the technique to change the symbol lists for all the scans in one step let it run then we'll see if we can find some short setup from these stocks by the way these breakouts are very effective breakouts as i mentioned the memory trend lines provide robust support therefore when the robust support is broken they are bearish we still have to wait for a proper trade setup using our unambiguous checklist but if there is a short breakout or long breakout position holders in the opposite direction may be cautious so short breakout will lead to caution on long position holding let me check the next topic in the meantime one way to find trade ideas from accelerating decelerating industries okay why don't i start with that because we are coming to the end of an hour i will come back to the result of this scan let me go back to q edge now the market is looking weak so we are not going to look for trading opportunities from accelerating industries instead we look for decelerating industries trading opportunities i refresh the list now i am double clicking on the pace five days column double clicking and getting the most decelerating industries to the top i can click this top this smart filter to drill down into the stocks of the top 10 industries in this case 
most deceleratory industries. I can simply click this button. This is a smart filter that is going to give me all the stocks of the 10 most decelerating industries because they are decelerating. First step would be to look for overvalued stocks. These are the overvalued stocks. If I want to have stringent criteria, more stringent, I can look for decelerating earnings as well. Now I have the list of stocks which are in decelerating industries, overvalued stocks, decelerating earnings growth. If I want only negative earnings growth, I have these four stocks. Let me look at them and click the chart icon so that I can copy it to Sonar. Let's look at them, Cray. I can see none of them are giving any trade setup right now. Let's have a look at some of the stocks. Cray, no trade setup. Crocs. Crocs had a short trade setup on this magenta color candle. By that time, you can see the weekly was already bearish. So this magenta color candle could be taken as a go with flow short trade setup. Earnings was nearby, so you could take a trade using short call vertical. Probably not using stock position, but short call vertical, which is already hugely profitable. Tiffany and eight. Let's look at eight. Again, we had a magenta color candle. There was a huge drop earlier associated with earnings. Price tried to go up. Then there was a magenta color candle. At minimum, you would be careful about holding long position. There is no trade set up in any of them right now because I can see none of the bounce box are doing go with flow or breakouts are lit up. If I go back to QA, I found this stock. Let me clear this filter on earnings growth. I looked at the stock E G J. Let me check. A J G. A J G. Okay, let me clear everything. Refresh everything. I am going to look for the stock A J A J A J G. Okay. A J G. AJG. It's looking weak, isn't it? Fundamentally overvalued. Secondary valuation is also magenta. Earnings growth, decelerating. And let me do a peer analysis so I can look at the industry also. I click the peer analysis button. In fact, there are several stocks in this industry that are overvalued. Now, if you look at the earnings column, this is the weakest stock when you combine Valuation, earnings growth, as well as if you combine revenue growth, this is the weakest. Doesn't take any time and there is no ambiguity whatsoever. It is the weakest stock. What about the industry? Insurance brokers. Over five days, it is strong. What about if I expand the days, I can see there is a possibility of deceleration. If I go back to the stock panel, where is it now? just 2.7% above 52 week high. In fact, all these stocks are pretty close to 52 week high. Because they are close to 52 week high, it is expected the industry was stronger earlier, but I can see some signs of deceleration. The stocks are overvalued. Earnings is looking very weak for AJG. This is the best time to look for shorting opportunities at the top. So let's look at AJG on technical charts. And it is looking weak. Instantly we know that. We had a bearish headwind in weekly earlier that created a watermark resistance. Price tried to, price tried to go above that. Displayed a bear release signal and now it completed a false upside breakout. The yellow candle is below the watermark resistance. They tried to go up and created a false upside breakout in weekly. In daily, displayed a bearish headwind again. And slowly, price is rolling down. 
an aggressive trader could take a short trade right at the point price was breaking below the watermark resistance maybe yesterday and look for a profit target either at the yellow direction line or the memory support line in any case a long position holder would be careful this is a very effective way to be careful on long position holdings if the industry is showing weakness the stock is at very high but toppling over and fundamentals are actually weak it's time to be cautious that's the stock i noted there are few other stocks i noted you can look at them akr and nke will not go through them let me go through the scan result wow there are many many stocks breaking down many many stocks that is showing the weakness of the market now you can sort by the industry and see which industry is weak afl is in insurance ajg was also in insurance you can see multiple stocks are in insurance let's look at afl cimet you can simply click it they are all linked aflac it is if it breaks below these memory resistances sorry not resistance memory supports you may be careful there is no short setup yet but if you are holding long position it's timing time to protect profit with trailing stop especially if it breaks below the memory support c i or c l this is already weak we had a short trade setup on this magenta candle now it is breaking down that's why it came out in the breakout scan but it is too late we should have taken the shot we could have not should have nobody tells us we have to we could have taken the shot following discipline following anamigos checklist on this magenta color candle i'll not go through the other stocks let me have a look at the futures on a weekly basis from the upper sonar you can see i have i have set up in a way that i have weekly as well as daily on the weeklies i am looking at futures daily i am looking at etfs but it is okay it's your preference you can see over the weeks russell 2000 is down most 3.15% very large drop if you are following us on twitter you can come to our home page click on the twitter facebook youtube button any of them you may follow if you are following us on twitter or facebook at least one of them you would notice several days ago i mentioned that rty was the strongest but it is of small cap stocks if the market weakens rty is likely to be the fastest to drop and that is coming true so far over one week period it is worst performer by far nasdaq went down only by 0.6% only relative to rty russell to 3.5 huge double the second week futures which is ym this is the relative performance you can see it is up down up down not going anywhere in terms of relative performance the Futures were up, but now toppling over. Emini, Emini. If you look at the weekly chart, in several last market roundups, I mentioned it was overbought on weekly, and it was very overbought. And now it has displayed a bear daily signal. It is also showing a reversal candle at pendulum high, price extreme high, even in the weekly chart. that is very high level of price and i mentioned it is time to be cautious in several market roundups we had a bearish headwind signal in the daily chart that had a long lower tail so we are not going to take any short trade but since then price is going down not dropping very fast but going down we continue to have the outlook that 
not the best time to take longs, especially in stocks that are also overbought and fundamentally overvalued. Currently, futures are little change, only 1.75 points down for the e mini, not much change. We'll see how the market moves. Whatever be the market move using the 360 degrees analysis, we can take trades well ahead of others. And often we can anticipate trades, add them to our watch list and take the trade with confidence when all the conditions are met. That is all the time we have for today's session. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in our next session. You may follow us on Twitter or Facebook, at least one of them to get timely alerts. Almost 95, 98% of our alerts are based on live market analysis. We don't try to look back and analyze stocks. You will, I think, like the disciplined approach if you follow us there. Thanks again. Have a great day. Have a great week and trade profitably. Bye-bye.